Nighttime I see diamonds in the sky Daytime I see sunlight shining bright If I'm alive how can I not testify Of your love, your love, your love Yeah Your love, your love, your love Welcome to Truth Prevails Today's episode Joe Witness denies that only Joe Witnesses will be saved So you're gonna see that coming up And that was really funny and, and funny to hear because we know that they only believe that they're the only right organization that's preaching the truth that's doing the right things so it was it was weird to see him deny that and um we see in organizations in their books and their magazines that it, it contains vivid pictures of massive earthquakes the earth swallowing up people large buildings crumbling fires destroying cities floods causing people to drown and float um down rivers they also declare that people will kill each other and those who do not die in these in these ways will be killed by God's wrath or by his angels. So, you know, I was expecting him to go into graphic detail and to explain these things, but you can see he was sidestepping and not really wanting to go into detail because that's not really the best thing they want to be going door to door speaking about. They want to hide that until you join the cult and then they're going to expose and throw all this on you. Um, and then you're gonna see him say, oh, we don't judge. We don't judge, but um, you guys do judge. And one example is baptism. I can't walk into a kingdom hall and say, hey, I repented. Let me be baptized today at a convention when they're doing their baptisms. Um, I just down, sit down in front of the elders and they have to ask me questions to see if I'm ready. They're taking God's place to see if I'm ready to be baptized. If I'm if I get baptized and I'm not ready, that's on me. That's on between me and God. God did not put no elders to a point to say when I'm ready to be baptized. So you judge. I feel like you have the right to judge me to see when I'm ready. So you guys do judge. So there are points where you do judge, but you don't you don't you won't say that someone's following the wrong religion. They're cowards. They don't want to um, when, when difficulty comes, they don't want to have that, they don't want that conflict. As a coward, cowards are not going to inherit the kingdom. So stand on your word. If I'm a Christian, only Christians will be saved. If you're a Muslim, a Mormon, a Jehovah Witness, a Catholic, you need to repent and put your, your faith truly into Jesus, you know? So God bless. Hit the notification bell to see when these videos are going to be coming. Like, comment, and share, and tell me what you think. Um, I need your comments, you know? I grow from what you guys are saying. Some people have been in this organization longer than I have, so they have more answers than I do. So like, comment, and share, and just give me feedback. God bless. Can I get ice cream? Huh? Yeah, you can have one. That's what's wrong with the earth, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so how, does, how does that happen? The transformation of the earth? Yeah, one thing, ungodly like, people will be gone. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Once ungodly people will be gone. Yeah. It's just like poof, the new world's done. It's now it's it's the way no, God wants. Obviously it. not. There's so much damage physically that's been done to the earth. So mm -hmm. there's gonna be work that's gonna be done to physically transform mm -hmm. um, the earth. But once that transformation is done, yeah. it's still the same earth. Okay. When when is Armageddon going to occur occur to you? When? Yeah. I don't know when. Oh it's okay. And like what? Okay, so what's gonna happen at Armageddon? I, I, during Armageddon? Yeah. We saw in uh, Second Peter that it says that it's gonna be destruction mm -hmm. of ungodly people. Yeah. So once ungodly people are destroyed, who's left? The godly people. Where did they go? They will go to the new earth. So like how how is all this destruction gonna happen? How did what how how is all that destruction gonna have to yeah. happen? How is Jehovah gonna destroy bad people? No, but like the Armageddon and stuff. Like what's gonna, the buildings gonna be like? We don't know. Jehovah doesn't hasn't given. He's done it in the past with water. Mm -hmm. But as far as how he's gonna, he has a ton of stuff he could use. Mm -hmm. He could use whatever he decides to use. Now, well, but the fact of the yeah. matter is, once he's done mm -hmm. with Armageddon, mm -hmm. 
with everything that it includes. Yeah. Who will be left? As I'm saying, will everyone living on this earth be killed at that time? The scripture doesn't say that. So. It only says ungodly people. So it's possible. hope they'll be destroyed. So it's possible like everyone that's a Jehovah Witness would be saved at that time. I did not say that. Okay, so who 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 will be saved at that time? Godly people. Godly people. That Jehovah deems. Yeah. They are in line for salvation. So everyone that's in. So. Do you just have, because. Yeah. Just because. Mm-hmm. A person says he's a true follower of Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's not me. They really are. So there's people that are going to think they're godly, but they're not. Really That's godly. what Jesus said. Yeah. So, like, who are the only godly people? Who are the only godly people? Yeah. Godly people, when the scriptures talks about those in line for salvation, are those who not only put faith in Jesus' sacrifice and his role yeah. in Jehovah's purpose, yeah. but they also practice mm-hmm. the, th- the things that the scriptures teach. Mm-hmm. So, how do I know how many or who exactly? How am I going to know? Yeah. Sitting here. Well, if I'm saying if a witness is the only one that truly That's do it. That's not what we say. So, there's other people that that worship God correctly too? How do I know? But how am I going to know? <laughs> the whole world is big. Yeah. Right? It's a, it's a big world. How can I just know from here that only Jehovah's Witnesses are going to be here? It's not in my place to know that. But I, I had an elder tell me, we're the, we know we are the truth because we're the only ones going preaching door to door. We're the only ones going out to different countries. and You have that. to believe yeah. that you have the truth. Yeah. If not, then what are you doing? Yeah. If Catholics don't believe they have the truth, they've condemned themselves, correct? Mm-hmm. Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if what we teach and what we know, if we don't think it's the truth mm-hmm. and it's a lie, then what's the point? That's what I'm saying. But if they, if a moment came to him and said, I have the truth. That's up to him. But, but he, has to, he has to convince himself that he has the truth. But so you wouldn't, you wouldn't, Reason him, reason with scripture to say, keyword, reason. Yeah, it's a different thing from we don't force people to yeah, accept no. what we've got. But, we don't have to. But under his, we we are convinced yeah. that we have the truth. You have to com- be convinced. Mm-hmm. If not, then what are you doing? I, I want to make sure I'm understood. So, do you think? Do I think only Jehovah's Witnesses will be, be saved? saved? No. Do you think other people? It's from not other in my place. Yeah. To know who's going to be saved. Do you think other people from other religions How might be saved? How do I know, Ryan? Because, of, so do you think they can only be... We don't judge. Do you think they can be only like one truth? How can there be two truths? That's, that's what I'm saying. So they can, out of all these religions... If you go to court. Yeah. Okay. How many truths are there? Twenty one. So if I don't believe... Yeah. I have the truth. Yeah. Then what am I doing? That's what I'm saying exactly. So when for Mormon comes and says you're not following God right, it's just right. So what would you tell him? Proof. Why am I not following God right? We're gonna try and reason. I don't have to agree with him. He doesn't have to agree. It's a choice. But then, so well, only one of you can be right, right? Yeah. Well, you guys both could be wrong, but we could both be wrong. Too. <laughs> yeah. All right. But I have to be convinced that I have the truth. Because if not, then what am I doing? I understand what you're saying. But you understand I, what I'm saying, though? I would want you to definitely to stand on that to say only Jehovah's Witnesses. You can't force people mm-hmm. to believe what they want to believe. But if that's the only way they're going to be saved? No, no, you can't force them. You but can't force them. You even if you know. Yeah. Even if you know. Yeah, you could. Yeah, even but, if you know, this is the only way. Wow. I bought, if, even like, if you know. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Even if you knew for sure, mm-hmm. God told you himself from heaven, mm-hmm. this is it. Mm-hmm. Can you still force people? No. No matter how many proofs yeah. you give. Mm-hmm. Can you still force people? No. Okay. Why not? Because it is the truth, though. Yeah. God's told you. Mm-hmm. 
See, my, let me, I would answer it and say, I can't force you. But if you want to be saved on that day, this is what you have to believe in. This will be the truth. This is what you're going to get you then there. What? And then, huh? Then Any, what? Anything else is not going to get you there. Then what? Then it'll be on them. It's still on them anyway. Yeah, no, I understand. The person who wants to reason with you mm -hmm. on what the truth is, with the intent of proving to you that you what you have is false, mm -hmm. what do you think his mental disposition is? What, you're trying to debate him or something? Isn't it? Because yeah. he comes at you knowing, thinking he's got the truth. Mm -hmm. Right? But you know, too. You're convinced that you have the truth. What's yeah. the end? What's going to happen in the end? You have to go to the Bible. Yeah, you go to the Bible. You show scriptures. He goes this way. You show this way. He goes this way. What happens to him? What happens in the end? Well, once you can be able to show that person, it's on them to humble themselves. It's on them to humble themselves and say, okay, I'm following the wrong thing. And if I say they and, don't, and then, yeah, say they don't, then that's there. Then they're going to perish. So ultimately, mm -hmm. see, that's not in your place to say. What, that they will perish? Yeah. Or if they're not in the truth? See, the thing is, our job mm -hmm. is not to determine who's going to be saved or not. Yeah. That's not our job. Mm -hmm. Whose job is it? It's, well, it's God has a final judgment, but if a Muslim came to me and said, hey, I'm following Whose job this. is it to determine who's going to be saved and who won't be? Jesus is going to judge, yeah. So what business do I have in trying to prove someone wrong that he's not going to be saved? That's his soul. Huh? That's his soul. That's why Paul says, if I can give up my citizenship, I would do it for my brothers to be saved. So, so... It, when Jesus was on earth, yeah, what yeah. did he go about doing? He he reasoned with the, the Pharisees as best as possible. Yeah, as much as he could, but he gave them the chance. If he didn't say, well, he 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 did the job. He mm -hmm. preached to them. He talked to them about the truth about God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. Did he force them? No, he gave them the choice. He gave them the choice. Yeah. There were some who possibly didn't yeah. even believe when Jesus was on earth. But later, after Jesus had died, yeah. became believers. Correct? Mm -hmm. So, the ultimate question of who's going to be saved and who won't be saved, that's not our job. Yeah. Our job is to simply preach about the good news of God's kingdom. As to what people mm -hmm. are going to do with that, that's on them. That's what I would say. It would be, it would be hateful. Not to speak to those people because that's we like, speak to everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We but speak to, to everybody. Not to not reason. You can't reason forever with them. That's the thing. But you that, can't yeah, reason forever can. with you them. Can, you can do what you can. So you can't reason forever with them. So after that destruction happens, how does how? That's my that's what I'm thinking about. After all that destruction happens, everything the godly people are there. How does that new world? How does the new world order come come about? How does it come about? Yeah. The book of Revelation, I'm not sure what scripture um, describes. To knowing everything that we know about Jehovah God, He's a God. He's a God of order, mm -hmm. and from His way, the way He handled the Israelites, everything was structured. They were numbered. Each family had where they were going to live. Specific details. Mm -hmm. The Bible does not talk much about what's going to happen after uh, Armageddon in exact detail. Which buildings are going to be pulled out or none of that. It, it doesn't give those specifics. However, we know from the way Jehovah deals with everything, there's going to be a structure of how he's going to work it. At this point in time, the most important thing is to do what? Stay in the faith. You got it. And get there. As to how all those final details, where am I going to live? What am I going to be doing? All those final details is going to happen in the future. Well, what about like, the bodies, talks about the dead bodies and, and, and all the Jeremiah all the talks about them being birds, feeding off of them. Um, uh, as far as how things are going to be disposed of, whether it's going to be poof, or whatever it's going to be. 
So the so the surviving people are just gonna watch like birds eat up people and we don't know how Jehovah's gonna take care of the detail. However, mm-hmm. what we do know, yeah, what we do know is that there will be people living on earth. Like how does that happen? Will we receive perfect health, perfect bodies? Like does even that, that same scripture mm. in a Revelation twenty one. Mm-hmm. If you go down, just after it talks about God residing with men, he talks about what will happen. Yeah. He will wipe away every tear from their ears, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning or crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Good. He who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things just new. Just four, four, four is good. Okay. So four talks about. He's going to wipe away all the tears from their eyes. And everything, but oh, the, is it just a it's a poof? And like after that, after Armageddon occurs, there's gonna be bodies, there's gonna be buildings destroyed, everything. Mm-hmm. Is it just a poof? And then, Revelation and then, nineteen seven and eighteen. Revelation nineteen. Who is it? 17? 17, 17 18? And eighteen. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and with a loud voice, he called to all the birds that flying directly over overhead, "Come gather." For the great supper of God, to eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of the mighty men, the flesh of the horses and their riders, and the flesh of all men, both free and slaves, both small and great. So the birds are gonna do it. So what happens to the bones? Like who does? When Jehovah destroys. As how, as far, I, I see what you're trying to get the final details. Now, I, and yeah, it's like, how does that, once all that happens, the, the birds come and do that, then is it just a poof, and then boom, we're in this new earth, and then we're getting that, that the way that wipes every tear and everything. I want to so, understand what it's, how, how it's building to new earth. What do you think? I think it's going to be, we're going to, once, once we, once, we are resurrected and judgment day comes. No, what if you don't die? If I don't die? Yeah. Um, we I'm, get to see him again. Because not everyone will die. You realize that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So say we're still alive and I'm again and happens. What do you think will happen? I think after. Yeah. I would go I would, I would. would go to judgment and then I would receive my glorified body. If my, my name would be in the book of life. And I would receive the body. We have to stand in front of judgment. I think we'll be brought up. We're gonna, we're gonna stand in, in judgment. What are you gonna be judged on? Uh, my faith. If I kept my faith, the works that, that that what I did with it, what I did with the knowledge I was given. So what about those who come back to life? What are they gonna be judged on? Mm. So come back after am I getting? Yeah. Oh, the one that died and they came yeah. back to life, they're going to be judged on what they did, what the knowledge that they was given, with their faith, what they did. But, just like Paul says, that stuff might be burnt up, but they will be saved. 